I'm really excited to show off my electric Lego Corvette ZR1 Dynamometer project. It's taken me about 10 months working on and off to finish this project. What I did was I took a Lego Corvette ZR1 and I added a small DC motor controlled by a Raspberry Pi computer. I created an ignition system which is a three step process. I have a key here that I put into the ignition giving us our first green light. And then there's the covered switch that turns on the electronics. The switch is green because it's enabled, and we have the third green light, meaning everything is ready to push the button. The button acts as a starter, cranking the engine, which takes a few seconds since the engine is cold. The starter cranking and the engine sounds I recorded myself on a cold snowy day from a real LT1 V8, just like in the base Corvette Stingray, for some authenticity. So now the car is running, and you can see several things have changed, for starters, we have a gauge cluster now. With the car on, we have some lighting. We have two white headlights. We have four red taillights and four yellow exhaust lights. Now the Lego engine is turning too. So the actual engine is mounted perpendicular in the cabin. Torque goes to a differential rounding at 90 degrees, which goes into the four speed transmission, which is in neutral right now. You can see the motor, differential, and output shaft here are spinning, but the wheels aren't engaged. There's also a little bit of torque past the differential I route to the Lego motor, so the camshaft will fire the pistons. We have an accelerator pedal here, which we can press on, and the motor spins faster, and so is the Lego motor, but the wheels still don't move. The transmission is a typical H pattern, so we can put the transmission into first gear up to the left, and the wheels spin. Using the pedal, we give more power, and the wheels spin faster, but not too fast, because it's only first gear, but they have a lot of torque. The gauge cluster has a sensor connected to the electric motor, shown on the left, and on the right is a sensor connected to the drive wheels. If we give it a lot of throttle, the engine spins very fast, but the wheels not so much. We can put it into second gear so the wheels spin a bit faster now. We can go from second gear up into neutral, then to the right, and up for third gear. On aisle they spin pretty fast, but they have a lot less torque now in this higher overdrive gear. But when we give it more gas, they spin way faster than before. This car with the electric motor, the electric motor's transmission, and the Lego transmission, and the differential between the two axles, this car is technically mid-engine, like the C8 Corvette. This means the car has more weight over the rear wheels than a front-engine car like the real ZR1. So traction is no problem, the car is pretty much just power limited. The motor has plenty of torque, but my old motor could stall in fourth and even third gear, since idle didn't give enough torque. To fix that problem, I created this lift system at the back which lifts the rear wheels off the dyno about half an inch or so. This small lift alleviates the rear axle weight, so third and fourth gear can run really fast. So now in third gear just idling, the wheels spin freely at a pretty decent speed. In the fourth gear, now the wheels are spinning, so much faster than before. There's so little resistance now that with full throttle, the wheels spin super fast. On the gauge cluster I have some information like how far the pedal is pushed, RPM for the motor and the wheels, and different metrics like feet per second, feet per minute, miles per hour, and kilometers per hour. There's a lot of electronics that went into getting all these different sensors and components hooked up. I'm really excited to show how I went from huge messes of wires and computers and sensors to the finished product. I had breadboards, LEDs, wires, circuit boards on my desk for months. I'll be uploading another video soon, showing underneath the hood and a couple of pictures of the build process. Thank you for watching!